This program is suitable for most people. However, it should not replace a supervised exercise program. Please consult your local doctor before commencing an exercise program, especially if you have one or more of the following. Have had joint surgery, any medical condition affecting your heart, lungs or blood pressure, joint inflammation. You have not been doing regular exercise. Stop exercising immediately if you experience one or more of the following. Chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, dizziness, numbness or tingling in the arms or legs, severe pain or discomfort in your joints. The producers and distributors disclaim any liability or loss, personal or otherwise, resulting from procedures in this program. Movers or Losers is an exercise program for seniors designed to maintain an active and healthy lifestyle. Let's join instructor Susanna for a resistance workout at Aveo Oak Tree Hill Apartments in Glen Waverley. We hope you enjoy today's episode. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Move It or Lose It. I'm Susanna. Thank you so much for joining us today. What we're going to do today is specifically focus on the upper body. What that does is give us some functional strength training so we can do more day-to-day -day activities such as lifting your groceries, reaching up to grab something from the cupboard and all other day-to-day -day activities. But first of all, we must warm up through our muscles and we'll do that through a light workout. So let's get going. Let's start off with a slow march. So just nice and easy to begin with here. Now when we're ready and we're feeling up to it, we're gonna bring our arms into it. And as we do so, our knees lift a little bit higher. Warming up through our big muscles means our heart rate gets up there so we can get on with warming up through the rest of our body. That's the way. Just marching up and down. well out there. Alright. Okay, let's start to slow this down. And we're going to take it into a nice easy walk. So out, out, in, in. Just like this. Out, out, and in, in. Out, out, in, in. Now as our muscles warm up, we can start sinking just a little bit lower. Sizes, we're going to use some free weights. Now, if you don't have them at home, it really isn't an issue. It's fine. You can use your body weight and that will work just as well. It just really depends on where you are with your strength and, and your fitness. So you can work up to weights or you just can use your body strength. That's fine. Just a few more of these and then we'll get into our first set of exercises. one here and we'll leave it there okay now let's bend our knees and pick up our weights if we have them if not get ready to work the shoulders we're going to come into a side raise what that means is our set position our feet are just under our hips our knees we're going to bend them so we don't want to lock anything out what we don't want to do is injure our joints and put the pressure in our joints. We want to be working our muscles. We want to be building strength in our muscles and not our joints. Okay, so we're going to start off with our side raise. And it looks like this. Our elbows are close by our sides, our knees are bent. Okay, so we do that to make sure we're not doing this, locking out through our knees. We do not want to place any pressure on the joints. What we want to do is work through our muscles build some muscle strength, okay? Not injure our joints. 
So a nice bend through the knees. We take the arms up. This is a side raise. We hold it. Come down slowly. Okay, as you can see from what I'm doing, we go no higher than the shoulders. So we don't want to overextend. We just want to warm up through those shoulders. And slowly bring it back down. A few more of those nice slow ones. And again. So what this helps you with is if you're ever reaching out for something, you'll have the strength to do that. And even if you want to give someone a big hug, you can extend those arms out and grab them in. Two more. Last one at this pace. Good job. We're going to just speed that up just a little bit quicker now. Two and two. Up, two, down for two. Up for two and down for two. A few more before we move on to our next exercise. That's it. We'll take it up for one last time. Okay, hold it here. Let's just roll out through our shoulders. So roll the shoulders up, back, and just, just relax. One more time. Yeah, that should feel nice and easy and relaxed there. Okay, our last set of exercises before we go out into our break is our shoulder press. Now, if you've got some lower back discomfort, make sure you take one leg back. That will help you protect your lower back and give you some stability. What we do is place our plates or our fists, our hands, by our chin, and we slowly take it up over our head. The whole time, making sure we can see the weights out in front of us. Okay, so don't push it back up here because what you're going to do then is place some strain on your lower back. So let's try it together, nice and stable. One, two, three, four. Bring it down. One, two, three, four. Nice and controlled, nice and controlled. Just control it back down making those muscles work for you. You're doing so well out there. And again. Okay, now that we know what we're doing, how about we just go a little bit quicker. Up for two. That's one, two, and one, two. Okay, a few more. That's great. Stuff out there. Got two more to go. Last one coming up. Back down. Good stuff. Bring the feet in if you had them split. Nice shoulder roll here. And one more time. Hold still. Okay. That was an excellent workout. We're just going to take a really short break and we'll see you when we get back. Hi, and welcome back to Move It or Lose It. Thank you for joining us here today. What we're going to do now is take it down to the floor and we're going to work on our upper back and our core strength muscles. What this does is give us better posture and better flexibility so we can stand upright and look stronger, and feel stronger, and be stronger. <laughs> Let's go. On the floor, slowly come down. Okay, so take your elbows out. And these movements can be really small. You don't have to do too much at once, okay? So just a little bit of a workout is better than nothing. Let's go. Slowly bring yourself up, so lift your chest. Hold it there for about three seconds. One, two, three. Make your way down. Let's try that again. Nice and easy. One, two, three. Hold it. Make sure you're breathing the whole way through, okay? You need a lot of oxygen going through those muscles. Let's try that again. And hold. A few 
more. At your own pace. At your own pace. Up. And try and keep your feet on the floor. Just giving that lower back some stability. Just rest there for a minute. So just take your arms out now. I just want you to stretch out. Just stretch out. Should feel really nice through the shoulders and the upper back. Okay, we're going to try that one more time. Okay, let's go. One more time. So up again. Yep. And again. Times before we move on to our next set of exercises. Up we go. And last one now. And relax. Let's take our arms out again and stretch out. Okay. So slowly make your way up onto your knees now. We're going to continue through our shoulders and our upper back some arm extensions, some arm raises, okay? So just one arm at a time. Make sure you're nice and stable on the floor. And when you can, slowly lift one arm up. That's the way. Hold it and bring it back down. Let's try the other one. We're just going to alternate arms here. So you'll also be feeling this through your tummy muscles. So make sure you give them a nice squeeze. Let's try that again. Up we go, and back down, other side, up we go, and back down, do it again. Now functional training like this can really assist with, for example, if you drop something on the floor, you have to go down and pick it up, you just switch on your tummy muscles, you've got strong shoulders, pick it up, and make your way back onto your feet. And again. Good work. A few more, a few more. Doing really well out there. Keep going. That's it. One more on each side. Good job. All right. What we're going to do now, stay there, stay in that position. We're going to have a little challenge, and if this is too much for you, just remember to stay with the one arm option. Otherwise, what you can do is when you feel you're getting a little bit stronger, and you will if you keep doing these exercises, you'll get stronger as you go. So what you might want to incorporate into this particular exercise is just trying to lift your leg. And as your tummy muscles get stronger, you'll be able to do that. So it looks a little bit like this. The same arm goes up. And then, if you're strong enough, you can even take one foot out, okay, and take it back in, nice and slow, as slow as you want to make it, okay? So let's try it on the other side. Arm goes up. If we're feeling strong enough, we can try it with the foot. It doesn't have to be extended fully. As far as you can go, for now, is fine. You can even try it bended. It doesn't have to be fully out here. Just bend it and then take it back down. You're doing really well. Let's try that again. Other side, arm goes up first. Core stability in action. And the foot can come up, the leg can come up. And back down. Other side, arm goes up. Now let's try the leg. Very good. Back down. How about we try that one more time on each side before we stretch out through the back. All right, arm goes up. Let's try the leg. Up. Good job. Bring them back down. One more time on the other side. Arm lifts. Feeling nice and strong. Then we bring in the leg. Good job. Take it down. Okay. While we're here, Let's just get into a nice child's pose. Stretch it all out. 
stretch out the shoulders, the back. Great work out there. Now, as you keep going on with those exercises, you're just going to get stronger. You're going to be able to do more. All right. Oh. We're going to take a quick break and we'll see you on the other side. Welcome back. Okay, so we've just got a couple more exercises to finish off with. So let's make our way back onto the ground, now onto our backs. So as slow as you want, onto your back. That's it. Feet flat on the floor. And what we're going to do now is go back to our shoulders. Okay, so if you've got your dumbbells or plates, pick them up. And we're going to really now open up through that chest. Okay, so just some chest presses. So it looks like this. We take it up slowly, just straight up. Yep. And we take it back out. So elbows out to the side. And let's do it again. Up, open up through the chest. How we do that is by making sure our elbows are out to the side. Okay. And again, back out. And back to the top. Back down. And back to the top. Nice and easy. Let's try that again. A little bit quicker now. Down for two. So one, two, come up. One, two. One, two, one, two. Now make sure there's no tension through the neck. Make sure your shoulders are away from the ears. You want to work out through that chest line. That's it. Elbows leading out. That's the way. Let's just keep going with a few more of these. Straight up. Straight back down. How are you doing at home? That's it. Good job. Let's keep going with these. Squeezing through that chest. Nice and strong. Tip. Back down. Okay, hold it here. Hold it here. Now we're going to change direction. We're going to go back to working our triceps, okay? So what we're going to do, elbows, they're facing the sides. This is what it looks like. We're going to take it up over towards our eyebrows. Stop there, take it up to the top, and back down again. Okay, you should feel that at the back of the arms. Nice and slow, up to the top, and slowly bring it down, that's it. And slowly, now the slower you go, the more you're forcing those muscles to work. Okay. So it's not a matter of rushing it. So let's try it all together. Up to the top. And back down. Again. Right up to the top. And back down. And a few more of those, okay? So just make sure you're going nice and slow, nice and slow. Now check also to make sure that your lower back has remained on the floor and it's not lifting up to the top, okay? Back down. And a few more, so let's do it together. Up we go. Back down. All right, let's just stop there. Have a little bit of a break. Put your weights down. Take one arm and just extend the tricep and stretch it out while you're on the floor. Nice stretch there. And the other side. Okay. Good job. Let's go through that routine one more time, shall we? Grab the weights if you've got them. And we're going to go through the chest exercises again. Ready to go? Let's do it together. 
Let's go. Up for four counts. So, one, two, three, four. Back down. One, two, three, four. And again. One, two, three, four. And with your elbows leading out, down we go. Let's go again. Up to the top. Hold it. Good stuff. So keep going with that. We've got a few more of these. Back down. That's it. Okay, one more of these. One more. Remember to keep breathing. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath in, okay? It'll be easier if you keep that oxygen flowing through the blood. Hold it. Okay. Remember those tricep extensions? We're going to try them one more time. Okay, so your elbows close by your sides. We take the plates up and we go down. Down for four. Four, three, two, one. We lift to the top. Yeah. So we've got a few more of these and then we're going to stretch it all out. And up to the top. And slowly make your way down. Up to the top, and we're going to go for one more. Down we go, down we go. Take it up. And take your elbows back to your sides, to your set position. All right, good job. All right, I want you to slowly make your way up. Okay, now I want you to take yourself into a child's pose and just stretch that out. Make it nice and easy here. Just enjoy that stretch. When you're ready, slowly come up to your knees and we're going to just stretch the shoulders out. So just take one arm across. Just enjoy that stretch. We did a lot of work through our shoulders today, so we need to make sure we pull we down properly. Sure your arm is down and it's not facing up. Let's try that on the other side. Take the arms up, interlock your fingers if you can, otherwise just keep your arms up straight and just stretch out. Bring your arms down. And that's all we've got time for on this episode of Move It or Lose It. I hope you can join us next time.